Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make these DIY glitter jars. What you're going to need is your glass jars, parchment paper, Mod Podge, glitter, hot glue gun, brushes, paper plate, and ribbon. Let's get started. The glitter that I'm using is the Recollection Signature Special Fine Glitter in the color Fairy Dust, Mod Podge, and then your brushes. You can use a foam brush or a regular brush. And I prefer the regular brushes, but foam brushes are obviously cheaper and they're easier to get a hold of. So you can use whatever you have. And your paper plate, and this is just to kind of prevent from getting Mod Podge and glitter all over the place. What you want to do is make sure that your glass container is nice and clean. And you want to, I shake my Mod Podge just because sometimes it sits for a little bit longer than it should. But all you're going to do is go ahead and grab some of your Mod Podge and just put it all over your glass container like this. You want to make sure that you have an even coat because you want to have an even amount of glitter all over your jar. One tip is you want to try to prevent having globs on your jars just because obviously the more glob you have, the more glitter will stick to it and there will be a bubble. It won't be like an even surface. So try to make it as smooth as possible. One question that I do get asked a lot is which Mod Podge I use. Um, I just use the matte one. I like that one better. I haven't really found the need to use the glossy one. But of course, like any DIY and anything that you're using, it's preference and the kind of look that you like. So it's completely up to you on which um, formula you want to use. Once you have a nice coat on your glass, you want to go ahead and grab your glitter. There is really no rhyme or reason to this. I just pour a bunch into the glass container and just move the glitter around and make sure that everything gets coated nicely. Obviously you want the Mod Podge to be tacky kind of so that the glitter will stick to it. You don't want to leave it sitting around for too long. Um, you want to make sure you have all your materials together because if it dries, obviously the glitter won't stick to it. I use parchment paper, but you can obviously use newspapers or anything to try to prevent the mess um, from spreading too far in your work area. Um, I just prefer parchment paper because it's easy. I can fold it really easily and I can just put the glitter back into it because as you can see, I'm trying really hard to get the glitter to go back into the glitter container. That's not always going to be the case. Some of it is going to fall. But as you can see here, I also use the plate. I mean, you can use whatever you have available. It's just I'm, I like to prevent the mess from spreading. So this is what I do. Um, and I hope this helps some of you guys, maybe. You see, look, I even made the mess went everywhere anyway, even though I'm trying to be super careful. But glitter is something that's very annoying if you get it somewhere where you don't want it to be. This is what your jar should look like after you have a nice thin coat of glitter. You want to make sure to shake off any excess glitter. You don't want to have anything just kind of sitting around loosely. Once you've done that, I would suggest letting it sit overnight. Um, maybe even 24 hours just to make sure that the Mod Podge is really dry and that the glitter is going to stay where it is. This is what your glass container should look like. I really like this glitter. It has a little bit of a blue iridescence to it. But this is what the inside should look like and your outside. Now I'm going to add some ribbon. This is one inch ribbon and this is the brand. I'm not really sure. I think I got it at Joann's. Um, but I used this to decorate one of my rooms before and I had some extra so I thought it would look nice and it would add a little character to the jar. And what I'm doing, I'm just measuring out the size of the ribbon that I'm going to need. And I'm just going to play with it. I'm going to look and see if I like it on the top, in the middle, on the bottom, and just 
see the different um, looks that it's going to give it. I think I like this one in the middle like this. A cool trick that I learned with ribbon is to get a lighter and just kind of burn the edges a little bit and this keeps it from fraying kind of like this. And that way when you actually you're using it for a craft, it'll stay looking really nice. You want to do it fairly quickly and you want to make sure to get all of the width of your ribbon. Once you've done both ends of your ribbon, you should end up with something that looks similar to this. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and your jar. And I've done this before in other videos, but a lot of you guys seem to really find this little tip useful. And all I do is just put a little bit of hot glue gun onto a new little tube of glue and attach to the back that way it stays pretty good when I'm moving my hand around and using the actual glue gun it's not going to pop out. Now that I've decided I want the ribbon in the middle I'm just going to kind of measure it out to see exactly where I want it so I know where to put the hot glue gun just because it's not permanent I mean you can if you find that you put it up too high or down too low you can adjust it just take the hot glue off but I just kind of like to do it all in one step. I don't like to do it multiple times if I don't have to. And all I do is just put a thin layer of glue the length of the ribbon and then attach the ribbon. Do be careful if you're not used to using a hot glue gun. The glue will actually seep through the ribbon and it can burn your fingers if you're not careful. You also want to make sure that the ribbon is nice and tight around your jar. If you have to, you can cut off some of the ribbon or you can just, you know, glue it to wherever the ribbon ends. It's completely up to you, but you want to make sure that it's nice and tight. This is what my jar ended up looking like. I ended up doing three, two circle ones like this one and with the ribbon in the middle and then a square one with the ribbon on the top. And I'm using these as my makeup brush holders, but you can obviously do whatever you want with them. You can put beads in them and put really pretty um, fake flowers in them and it will decorate a room beautifully. If you guys have any requests, please, please let me know and I will try to um, research and get that done for you guys. And like always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.